Hey guys, Pesach is over. That means I basically need to get everything organized again and basically just tidied up because we have so many things like in different cabinets now since like we sorted it separately for like, you know, Pesach stuff and not Pesach stuff and half of our food is like in the mini fridge. So it's just going to be a lot of organizing of that today. Also, I have a lot planned this week, so I figured that I'll take you guys like on a weekly vlog, see if anything gets interesting. I actually, just like I've been chilling this past morning, I have been watching Harry Potter. I never really fully watched like all of the series through. I've, lo I've watched like bits and pieces and like knew somewhat the storyline, so I like committed to like watching like every single movie in order for like the past week and a half. It's insane because each movie is like two and a half hours long. Like it, it took a lot of time. But like I just finally finished and it was pretty good. It was quite worth it. So that's what's the plan for today. I think I'm just going to get started on the whole cleaning part. Oh and I have a doctor's appointment today at 1.40. On, on the phone so I don't like go out or do anything. Huh. Hopefully I just got everything done. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. I'll show you. Like, they're, well that one's not because that was one we used. They're all like taped and closed with a string so that we wouldn't get into them like that, you know? <laughs> but some of them are left open. Like this one right here we use for like our Pesach stuff. So we left that one open and also that one. But I'm first going to just open the other one so that after I do the dishes I can put everything away where they need to be put. <laughs> um... So that's what I'm going to do now. card in my camera was full and so it just randomly stopped and I basically just lost a lot of footage or footage that I would have taken if it didn't just stop on me cleaning the kitchen and all but I got so much done right now I also like took out the food from like the mini fridge to like our main fridge and just everything so nice and organized I just folded laundry I made right now lots of pizza the thing is I wasn't able to make it during Pesach because for some like idiotic reason, I have no idea why, there wasn't any like, there wasn't any vegan cheese being sold during Pesach. I don't know why. I feel like there's no chametz in them. If anything, they're like kidney out, but they just weren't anywhere, so I couldn't get any. And finally, I got and it's in the oven. It looks so good and it smells amazing. I'm so excited. So I'm probably just gonna eat that and like chill on the couch, maybe like watch a movie. Right now I'm just gonna wait another like what five minutes and then enjoy my matzo pizza. Okay, I just took it out. It looks so good. I really wish I had like the shredded cheese, the vegan cheese, but I didn't have that. So I had to like cut up like square cheese I had. And you know what? It'll do and I'm excited. Also, I have yet for someone to change my mind that frozen grapes are worse than regular grapes because these things are freaking amazing like totally my go-to so you know how it like becomes a certain time of day and you've been just kind of relaxing you're like yeah like five ten minutes on the couch while i like have a snack and then it becomes like an hour and you just get so tired and have absolutely no want or feel to get up and do what you need to do because that's me right now <laughs> i'm supposed to be getting out and i'm just so exhausted i don't know why i don't know what hit me but i can't seem to get up i probably will like force myself get up i also really want to stretch and get things on but i just got so freaking tired 
I don't know why. Does that happen to you? Do you relate? Please comment that down below. And like, what helps you get over that? Guys, I did it. I got up. I changed. I even put some toilet cleaner in the toilet so I can sit. So when I get back, I am ready to clean. <laughs> no excuses. Um, I don't know why. It was just so hard for me to get up. I literally like laid my head down for like five minutes in the bathroom. I'm like, okay, getting up. No more excuses. And now I feel good. So I also put a lot of laundry in. So that was also really helpful and motivating. Um, I'll get a nice walk in now. Just enjoying the really beautiful weather now. It's been really iffy, like on and off. I don't know why. It's like so weird how like the weather is just dropping from like hot and cold. I think that's why I got a really bad cold last week was because of the weather change. But right now it's like really nice and just a little breezy but warm and I am so here for it. So I'm definitely gonna enjoy this walk. I just got home, but you know what's funny? There was straight up a time where like I wouldn't wear gloves when cleaning the toilets. I would just like have like my, you know, rag and spray bottle and then, you know, wash my hands after. But honestly, gloves are such a like life changer. I don't know why I never really got into them before. They're so useful and really come in handy sometimes. You'd be surprised what you deal with in there. So I am definitely on the gloves train. <laughs> Hey guys, it's the next day. I am now in Yerushalayim, I just got here. I thought that my appointment was at 1.30, but of course I was wrong and it's at 3.30, so I got here really early. I'm right now in Ben Yehuda, that's like the city area where all of the shops and people are. So I figured I'd walk around a bit until my appointment. Hopefully just like the time will fly. Um, I want to get home though like right after and not just like wait around so I can first of all miss the traffic. And just like, and I'll get stuff around the house done, like shower and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's actually really nice outside. I don't know why I'm wearing like a hoodie. <laughs> it's a little hot for that. I know at least for next time, like in two days, I have another appointment here in your Yerushalayim. So hopefully I won't need to wear a hoodie. <laughs> the weather has been really weird and iffy, like on and off. So like I never know how to dress anymore, but it's really nice outside. And I'm really digging this. So I'm just gonna like walk around to my appointment and hopefully it doesn't feel like forever. <laughs> it's the next day the reason why i didn't continue recording yesterday was just because i was really not having it <laughs> i was just kind of frustrated um so first of all i thought that my appointment was at 1 30 but it was really at 3 30 so i got there really early and just was twiddling my fingers waiting doing nothing so that was a little annoying but whatever i have patience and then I saw this new doctor because my other one was not being helpful and I kind of had the same thing with this doctor and I was just like coming out of that appointment was just really frustrating because I figured oh a new doctor a new perspective maybe he can help me and it just was the same nonsense as the other doctor and I just kind of like left his office and I like broke down I like called my mom crying I'm like mom I'm so sad the reason why I had these appointments is because I have a lot of abdominal pain it's like my stomach and my abdomen I don't know how to explain it it's just it's just a lot of pain there and it's not just IBS like I know what IBS is but that's like I, I don't know they're just really not helpful and I was just felt really defeated and I was just like not I was not having it, so I just kind of like got home quickly and just kind of relaxed and hung out with my husband. It was really just frustrating hearing the same thing over and over again after I thought that seeing somebody new maybe, you know, it would bring new things to light, but it just did not. I have another appointment with a different doctor in um, tomorrow, actually, so I'm really hoping it's not the same story, but if it is, at least... I need to prepare myself so I don't have that like mental breakdown again. Also tonight we are meeting up with my really good friend and his mom because she just got in town and I haven't met her and she just seems so sweet from like the messages that we've had back and forth and I'm really excited for that. Hey, so I just showered and yes, I look really dark right now because I have a self tanner on. Um, I haven't done this in like over a year. Here's a better view. I'm like in the sun. 
more um it's really natural color hopefully it'll like lighten up if it, it won't stay like this dark <laughs> i love being tan it's been so long i used to like just constantly always be tan because i was always at the beach and just always out on hikes and doing things but ever since like the pandemic happened i've just been home like all day long barely getting any sunlight and i got so so white that it was like starting to just like not feel like myself i was like where did my tan go like i don't feel like a beach girl anymore and i was just like getting really sad about it so i finally decided to do a self tanner again um i really hope this comes out right and that i have no like yucky streaks because i would be really really sad so i just really hope this tans well and goes well i'm gonna leave it on for like at least five hours i think before i wash it all off and then i guess we'll see what the results are <laughs> Okay, I just got out of the shower after like waiting five and a half hours with the self tanner on and my face got really red and blotchy. It's hard to tell in this lighting, but in real life it's like a lot more red. Maybe there's some other lighting that can show it better. It's really not usually this red and blotchy. This is just a really, maybe you can see better in the mirror. That's hilarious, whatever. Um, I think that maybe my skin had like somewhat of like a little bit of allergic reaction i don't know why because last time oh like a little bit on my neck too i don't know why it's really weird um like last time i did the self tanner even on my face it did not get this red and blotchy so i really just hope it calms down it's really weird maybe it just has to do with like the moisturizers and sunscreen i put on with the sun tan i have no idea but i'm really hoping this clears up actually it kind of works the trim on i'm kind of surprised right now literally on the stereo. Yeah, right. That's hilarious. So... Um, yeah, I am excited. I can't believe you've never been there before. Because I've always How been like... How has Yeshiva never taken you here? Uh, I think it's one of those like over the year things. Yeah. But, see, like, we weren't allowed to go ourselves alone, but like our pediatrician took us. I mean, I did in the bungalow once. I wasn't gonna say anything, but now that you mentioned it, so I know I can talk about it. So it's gonna be easy. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. How'd you get there, huh? Do you remember? Whatever, I do. It's kind of scary. <laughs> but I'm fine. I'm I was good. scared I'm of hearing you tell the story you. two years after it happened. You would never do it. Not the way you did it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it wasn't like I did it some like extra like bad way. So. I mean, it was a little sketchy. Like, I just took a regular bus there, and then I, my move it told me to get up at this random like stop. So I did. Then it wanted me to like walk 20 minutes. And I'm like, um, what? So I ended up finding this like rabbi-looking dude with like a van. And he's like, for like five shekels, I'll take you to Masbach Bela. And like, there's another couple. So I'm like, okay, fine. It's like a rabbi and like another like couple. It should be fine. And then he took us there. <laughs> Sketchy and it was really dangerous, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you gotta stop doing that sketch stuff with me. I was a little bit afraid. It, it really was. And the other sketch thing? Oh what was the other sketch thing? With that bus that wasn't completely Jewish? <gasps> oh, yeah, no, it wasn't. It was or literally Eggety. completely Arab. Yeah, I was, again, I wasn't gonna say anything for the people. But. Oh, yeah, it's a good point. Um, it was really scary. <gasps> <laughs> I was not That's hilarious. I was not expecting that to happen. <laughs> just say once you realize you're going to a, a certain neighborhood, I should just walk out of here and do some this. Probably. Well, now you're married and to someone who knows better. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but what if it's a time where like I don't tell you I'm going somewhere, like while you're at work and I'm home? Then work. take your gun with you, baby. I'm out of here. Well, then wait five years and then do oh. stuff like that. <laughs> I have my knives and my pepper spray. That I is think something. that's pretty good. That is something. I want you to have some fiber on me. Me too. Like right now we're going around to Mount and like we're going through like the Arab village. So that's going to be... Sort of. I mean, so you basically are like next on the road next to it. I would say through is, is if the Arab village is on both sides of the road. But right now it's I on guess. the left. We're on the edge. Like the other side is more kind of just like fields. The other side is just right now we're down. passing Al Arub. Sorry, let me say that. Al Arub. Yeah, that's a mosque. That is an army uh, watchtower. 
uh, pill box, feed boxes. I was here a bunch of times. Like this is them. In this box, yeah. Um, they have rock throwing this here all the time. Lovely. And I was in reserve duty here three, three and a half years ago. Someone threw a mock cocktail into the watchtower. Actually? Yeah, no one noticed. <laughs> Before we got here for reserve duty, um, this guy ran over soldiers who were standing outside on the road. I ran outside the watchtower. Did you ever hear about that? I don't know. He's, uh, he was a nurse at uh, one of the hospitals in Jerusalem. It's a regular guy, a degree. You know, a lot of the times they say that these terrorists are like people with like poor, I have nothing else, you know, nothing to lose, and which is true for a lot of them. They've nothing else to do and you know Hamas or the PA pick him up here have some money do some money, take care of your family do something whatever this is an educated guy a nurse and he's an educated man you know nurse good job and he just saw an opportunity went for it. he said oh I, I saw soldiers on the street so I figured yeah, I just might as well run them over Interesting. It was, it was nice. Was it what you expected or was it different than how you thought it would be? Uh, I wasn't really expecting anything because and I know what the outside looked like. I didn't know what the inside was going to look like. I didn't really expect anything because right. even if I had, like, it would obviously look different anyway. Right. Yeah, I get that. Um, it's nice that it wasn't so packed today. It's harder because, like, it's kind of a small area so when it's packed. It's just so squishy and you feel gross. Of course. Um, we had mass in there, of course, but now we're just like outside, just sitting and chilling. It's actually really nice outside. You're like too hot. Yeah. <laughs> God, it's gone easy. No, I got so white. I've like never been this white before. I mean, I just did a tanner yesterday, but I was literally just so pale. It's so weird. I've never like stayed home all day long doing nothing because of COVID. <laughs> I don't know. Still corona. Yeah. So... But I don't know. That was really nice to come back. It's, I haven't been here in like, what, two years maybe? <laughs> been so long yeah 15 and a half years i finally came to mars crazy yeah, yeah september 4th 5th wow. 2005 yeah i know it was really nice it is right there that big building mm -hmm. <laughs> apparently there's a cave under that or something or something you know just like where they're buried <laughs> yeah clearly it's oh avram that's where avram is buried that tomb it's really clear yeah like on that like second sure floor right really there yeah, exactly <laughs> Yeah, no, but it was it was really nice. Had some tehillim. Just some tehillim. It was good. Quite successful. For us, for Kaisra, for the exactly. Oh, someone's calling. People that I know, Marsha's calling. Okay, we'll take a quick intermission. <laughs> day um actually in four minutes the siren will go off because today is yom ha which is the holocaust remembrance day and it's a really important day since my grandfather is a holocaust survivor um and it's something israel does really blast the siren for i think it's a full minute 60 seconds and everyone like just stops talking everyone is just quiet they go outside they hear the siren they remember who passed away in the Holocaust, who was murdered, sorry, not passed away, they were murdered in the Holocaust, and like all the cars stopped driving. It's crazy, if you've seen videos, like you'll see people like on the highway when the siren goes off and everyone just like stops driving and goes out their car and just like stands in respect for like the fallen souls. So in just like a couple minutes, it will go off 
and um, we're gonna remember. so this is editing jennifer so i just wanted to wrap up this vlog since i didn't get a chance to before um i just think i didn't really have much left in like the week it was already friday and i just cooked for shabbos and didn't really do much so i didn't record but i want to say thank you guys so much for watching and i really hope you enjoyed it and hopefully see you again soon bye